In a rare show of bipartisan support, the amendment to the citizenship bill sailed through the Senate. Senators on both sides of the upper house gave the piece of legislation their full support. Trade Union Representative Raymond Roberts said the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2015 will enable grandchildren of Grenadian parenthood citizenship and could greatly boost sports. I think it's a, a bill that offers patriotic citizens that were not citizens, people who are of Grenadian parentage or some ancestry to get this chance to represent their country. I can think about um, the upcoming under-17 football tournament. Clearly, it now opens the door for Grenada to go out there and recruit and certainly make a contest of this um, world-class event that will be staged here in March. Culture Minister Brenda Hood also added her support to the draft legislation, saying it could have significant impact on culture. Only uh, last week, Mr. President, Ambassador Shabazz was here for just about three days. She made the peek into Grenada. And this is the daughter of Malcolm X, her mother, her grandmother is Grenadian. We were able to visit the site where her grandmother was born in Ladigue. But most importantly, she was here when the, this bill was passed in, in the House of Representatives, and she was elated. Since she has returned to, uh, to the state, she has been emailing me, emailing me, to find out when is it coming on stream. The bill was tabled by Parliamentary Secretary with Responsibility for Information for Kariakou and Pichy Martinique Affairs, Nolan Cox. It gives the minister the power to confer the title of Grenada citizen once the individual satisfy the criteria of having a grandparent who is a Grenadian is of good character and intends to continue to be in service to the state. According to the bill, a person granted citizenship under this new section will not be allowed to participate in general elections and is required to acquire an alien land holding license to acquire property in the state of Grenada. Joseph McKee-Smith, GBN News.